hello guys hope you are doing well uh, in this video we are going to learn about dynamic links in flutter or we can say dynamic link in firebase dynamic link is basically facility from firebase right so what is dynamic link uh, this is the official documentation of flutter fire that is specially developed for the support of firebase with flutter right so they have written that dynamic link are the link that work the way you want right so dynamic link is the kind of link which you can use for any purpose that you want and another thing is if a user does not have your app installed and you share a link with your user so what dynamic link will do is uh, when the user click on the link it will basically first of all redirect your user to the google play store or apple store to download the app and after downloading the app uh, the app will basically show that particular post that you have shared with your user or your friend so that is dynamic link for example uh, you have shared some post from facebook with your friends and when your friend click on the facebook link it basically not open the web browser but instead it just redirect the user towards the facebook app so this is dynamic link now let me show you uh, how it can be work in our case suppose uh, this is a very simple ui that i have made uh, it have uh, products from the firebase with name price and its description right you can see okay in our case what i will be doing is when i click on share uh, it will generate a dynamic link and then i will share that dynamic link with my friend so what will be happen by clicking on this link when my friend click on the link uh, if he does not have installed app then the link will redirect my friend towards the google play store and then he will install the app and after installing app when he open the app uh, he will be redirected to that particular skin so he will be able to see the product that i have shared with him directly so this magic is done uh, we can do this with dynamic link right uh, let me show you what i have did previously uh, first of all i have created three pages one is home main dot dot it contain only the connection between firebase and app and then i have created home screen home screen have nothing just straight for uh, forward app bar and then the basic ui with the image title price and share button right so after clicking on image let me show you after clicking on image it is directing uh, us toward the product detail screen and again product have uh, image title price share button and description right this is the basic view that i have developed so far and uh, let me show you what you you will be required in order to use dynamic links right <clears throat> so first of all i have installed firebase dynamic link version 2.0.6 and git as for getx uh, 4.0.0 firebase core and cloud firestore so these are the dependencies that you have to install in order to kick start the application so how we will be using a firebase dynamic link so now let's come to the home screen and yeah uh, let's get into it first of all uh, when you install that particular plugin firebase dynamic links it will require you to go toward the uh, app version build out riddle and make the minimum sdk 219 it is required and another thing is you have to make multi decks enabled equal to true in order to run your app for, with uh, firebase <clears throat> so this is the basic setup that we have to do okay, guys uh, now let's start implementing dynamic link so first of all i'm going to convert stateless widget into stateful widget uh, my id in essence is not working uh, at the moment so i'm doing it through manually home screen right and i'm going to cut this method and paste it over here yeah my uh, screen is now converted 
I'm going uh, towards Firebase that I'm using in that particular project uh, is this one. Uh, there are many sections in Firebase. If you can see, there are build section, release and monitor, analytics and engage section. Basically, dynamic link is lies under engage section. <coughs> After clicking on dynamic link, uh, you will be uh, directed to new screen uh, where you have to create new page link. Like I'm going to create one. No, it's not that way. Uh, as you can see, I have created already one with my name http osama dot page dot link. So you can create one by clicking over here, and by filling the domains, uh, you can use domain that Google suggests to you. Like I'm going to write navid dot navid, and you can see here Google is providing me some things. So after clicking on that and clicking on continue will basically create a link for me. Yeah, it's finished. So clicking on it will finish that particular thing. <clears throat> so uh, now let me remove one of them. Okay, let me use that one. Osama.page.link. So first of all, you have to create a uh, page uh, link. So basically there are two ways of creating a dynamic link. Uh, one is using uh, by dashboard and another is using programmatically right so now i'm going to show you how you can create a dynamic link using dashboard so click on uh, new dynamic link this will be shown to you so this is your uh, url prefix and then this is whatever you want to be interested in like suppose i click i write it as osama so the link preview is uh, url prefix and the token or something that you will be using it in the app clicking on next and filling these detail will create a url for you like form dot example dot app Uh, it is uh, you have to define behavior for the apple. Uh, I want to open the link in the URL and Also, I want to open the link in Android app and select app here So the current app is dynamic link example and click on next and create So this will create us a very amazing dynamic link you guys can see uh, HTTPS Osama dot page dot link slash this is the token uh, for using that particular token we have used dynamic link so this is our first dynamic link it shows uh, how much time ago it is created how many clicks are coming in that particular link when it is open first time and how much time it is reopened so this is some statistics of the dynamic link i'm going to archive this link so this link is deleted now let's do all the things from the app first of all we have to initialize dynamic links over here how we can do initialization first of all we have to create a very beautiful method with the name void init dynamic links right and dynamic link is basically asynchronous work so we have to make it async and then we have to call firebase dynamic link dot instance dot on link this is the method we have to use and inside on link we have many uh, parameters like on success we have to provide on success with dynamic pending dynamic link data and the object of that particular link dynamic link and again it is also asynchronous so we have to make it async and after this uh, basically the link that we will get how we can do this is by final uri and deep link equal to dynamic link dot 
link suppose if we have clicked on any link so that link will be come to the pending dynamic link data object and from that object we will extract the link that we have clicked on all right that's simple then we have to check if deep link not equal to null right then we have to do some handling of the link right uh, handling handling of link over here uh, suppose if user click on link you want to show product you want to show story or anything that we will be handling over here and this is for on success but for on error if we have click on link that does not exist or deleted by the creator so then what we have to do is create on link error exception on link no, on, on link error exception e and it is async and we have to print that we got error we got error and then print the error that we got right so this is very simple initialization of dynamic link we have to call it on the init state init dynamic link so this is all we have to initialize dynamic link first of all and then now let's move toward the handling part of dynamic link I'm going to create a very beautiful method for that void handle my link sorry this will basically uh, accept the link the deep link that we will be using it right so it will be accepting URI I'm going to name it URL okay so we have to call it over here handle my link and then we have to call deep link after sending link over here what we have to do basically our concern about link is to get the token that we have embedded into the link so how we can get token uh, is by splitting the URL into list like list of string separated link equal to empty list right and then we will going to do uh, separated link dot add all and uh, URL dot path dot split our slash so suppose if our URL is HTTP uh, sorry if our URL is summer dot link dot page slash uh, hello so this whole URL will be divided into two things how one part will be Osama dot link dot page and another will be hello right so this will be going to stored into the list of string this is very simple logic and after separating the uh, link into to tokens then we will be able to use our concerned token suppose I'm going to print it over here print the token that I'm interested in interested in is okay separated link at the one right okay guys this very simple uh, now we have initialized our dynamic link using init dynamic link and uh, we have created an instance of dynamic link and then I have bounded it with on link method inside on link we have two parameter to pass one is on success when we successfully click on link and we receive it in the app and another is on error 
right so when we successfully uh, get the url from the dynamic link then we will be able to handle it so in our case i am going to handle like this i am just splitting the link into tokens the first token is our page or the prefix and another is our concerned thing and then i am going to store it into the separated link list and then printing the first token sorry the second token as index start from zero so we have done with initialization of dynamic link now how we can generate dynamic link from the app this is very very important thing we have to do and i think this is the very interesting thing that everyone is looking for that video okay so now i'm going to create a method which will help us to create dynamic link programmatically so i have created a method so i'm going to paste it over here and also i will give you a link to the github repository so you can you guys can also copy from there this method is basically doing all the thing that is required for the application okay. <clears throat> so i'm going to paste it over here the method name is build dynamic link this is our custom method in which i am sending title image and document id and it accept url so what is url it is our uh, url prefix we will get it from here like https or sam.page.link so this is url we have to paste it over here dot page dot link and then uh, for android and ios they have separated uh, configuration in this video i am doing android stuff so let me change package name for the android and this is the package or application id let's replace it here okay and next thing is basically the social meta tag parameters so if you have if you share this link with whatsapp then it will basically show uh, image and uh, title and also empty description uh, this line is basically doing a beautiful thing <clears throat> like you have uh, seen many urls with very long syntax so this line will basically uh, shorten the long url and then we are getting uh, shortened url dot to string and storing it inside the uh, description variable uh, after that we have uh, share dot share this will basically do sharing of the application or uh, sorry sharing of the uh, title and a description description is something uh, that is a, a dynamic link we are uh, we're sharing with someone so let's first of all import a share package for that <clears throat> the version that i am using is just write it uh, like share <clears throat> and pop get so package is finally downloaded from the internet and now let's import it so yeah package is imported uh, now let's call this method uh, when we click on the share button and see what is happening icons dot share okay build dynamic link and it basically require title image and document id title is the title and image is the image that i'm getting from the document right title image and price uh, so title image is coming from the above variables and document id is basically the document id of that particular ad i'm going to replace it with ads of index 
dot id uh, now let's see that where it is working or not yeah i'm going to click our share button so yeah yeah i have got an uh, issue is because of i have installed a share plugin while application was running so first of all i have to stop application and run it again uh, when when you guys uh, come up with an error that uh, no implementation found just give it a restart or um, close the app and rerun this issue will be fixed that's the tip for you now let's wait when application uh, is run then i will resume the video guys so now app is running and by the way i have changed one thing i have changed title to description and description to title so make sure you change as well uh, now let's click on the share button uh, i have click and you guys can see the link is populated with the prefix and the document id uh, let's send it to the message to that particular guy and send okay now uh, let's open the run and see for the output i have clicked it open in the web browser now it is checking in the local device that whether uh, the application is installed in the app or not if it is installed it just directly open that particular application so yeah the token that i am interested in is this particular token so i have got this particular token from the dynamic link as you guys can see when i click on a particular product detail item it basically land me to this screen so if i uh, click on this and share link with someone so if they click on the link they should direct it to this screen not home screen so how we can do this uh, you guys can see uh, when we click on Think, yeah this method the token that I'm interested is basically in handled my link method so I just sent from here get dot to and to the product product detail screen and product detail screen is expecting product ID which is I'm already getting from this so now give it a restart uh, now let i'm uh, let me share macbook pro clicked uh, link is generated sharing through message with the same contact number now this time when i click on the link it will send me towards the macbook pro detail screen right <clears throat> click on So yeah guys, uh, have you see uh, as the app got the token and then it directly uh, directed the user toward the detail screen. So this is how uh, dynamic link works. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, please like and subscribe and share video with your friends. Thank you.